Good morning and what's up guys? I figured I'd go ahead and do a little reflection with you guys before I head up the gym. So, as you guys all know, I try not to do performance uh, related mods on my car until the warranty is up. So with that being said, right now my car currently has 42-ish thousand miles. So I still got just, un just under 20,000 miles to go before it's 60,000 and warranty is expired. So with that being said, I'm going to start looking into turbos now. So I'm going to lean on you guys for a little help and guidance. Um, I kind of know what I want to do, but I want to see y'all's opinions, see from your experiences and what you've heard. That way uh, this can get more highlighted, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people watch YouTube and they uh, get ideas and different experiences throughout this. So think of it as an online forum video wise. So from my understanding, I believe that there's like three different routes I can go. One, I can go get a big Garrett Turbo or something like that, some other type of aftermarket. I can do an Evo 10 swap for cheap. I can find Evo guys, get uh, their used parts, which is kind of the downfall of that. Or three, I can remove my stock rally art housing, send it off to True, which is Turbos R Us, and have a guy by the name of Chris Robbins rebuild it with brand new parts and everything, put it back in, tune it and call that a day. So that's probably the easiest route to go. And from what I understand, you can easily get to 300 horsepower to the wheels. And with a lot of modifications, you can get up to 400 and you'll probably be maxed out at that. Um, the other thing was the Evo 10, right? So that's gonna incorporate a lot of modifications to the car. So I'll have to change up the intake. Um, I believe there's a road race engineering, uh, little, I don't know if it's a tube or what it is, an elbow, but that will allow you to use your stock air intake. Um, you have to do the exhaust manifold, new turbo, all the oil, and um, all your lines, basically. Um, your intercooler. So there's going to be a lot more work towards that, but you're not going to be capped off at 400 horsepower, you know what I mean? So with just the stock turbo and stock exhaust manifold and everything like that, I think you can get around 320-ish, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below, but it opens up the doors to gain more power in the future with more modifications. And then lastly, there's the whole, you can go get another off-brand turbo, you know, so you can get a Garrett or anything like that, but that's going to be more expensive. So ultimately, there's three choices there for me. Um, like I said, I have time to save up my money. I have time to slowly build up everything I need. That way, once 60,000 miles comes up, Boom, I can go find somebody to help me install it because that's kind of out of my realm and comfort zone of doing anything like that. So if you guys have any experiences with any of those three, please let me know. So that again is the Evo 10 swap, the true 50 millimeter, I think it is, uh, Rally Art Turbo that uh, Turbos R Us makes, and then any other turbo. So I'm swearing towards the Evo 10 just because I'm looking at getting 450 wheel horsepower eventually. I don't really want anything more than that. And uh, I think that's just out of the range of the stock rally, which I initially wanted to go that route. That thing looks sexy, badass. If you guys aren't following Rav Rally at Revolution on Facebook, I highly suggest you do so. If you don't have a Facebook, make one just for that page because a uh, plethora of knowledge and experienced people in there uh, helps me out all the time. So it can save you a lot of time doing research because a lot of the EVO communities, um, not to say that they don't help, but they're not as knowledgeable on the SST and things of that nature, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, leave a comment down below what you guys have, a pro and con of each one, and I would greatly appreciate it because Thanksgiving and Christmas is coming up, so I know Black Friday deals are going to be out there, so it's going to be time for me to start shopping up a little bit. So like I said, Got plenty of miles left to go now that I have a daily uh, for another car. I'm not, I haven't been building up too many miles on my rally, which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong, but um, I am ready to hit that 60,000 miles just to get the performance on the car. So yeah, long-term goals is about 450 to the wheels. And um, yeah, we'll see what we can get there with. So yeah, last time. Rally art, Evo 10 swap, or other. Let me know what you guys decide down below, and uh, we'll have a discussion about it. All right? So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it for now. Uh, I'm going to go hit up the gym. And, yes, it's kind of actually cold here in Florida. It's like 50 degrees. There's like a cold front coming through. 
Arctic Blast or something. It's kind of funny. But um, yeah, so enough blabbing. And uh, yeah, thanks for your advice. And look forward to hearing from you guys. As always, never live your life in idle. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And I actually forgot to mention, I am sorry, true Turbo Zara. Um, you could actually send in your Evo 10 stock frame turbo and get that upgraded as well. Something very similar to what they do with the Rally Art Turbo. And you can get a lot more horsepower out of that as well. So, there's that to keep in mind. So, you're not going to be stuck to an Evo 10 frame. You can actually get that upgraded. So, that's a good possibility too.